weighing in at a whopping 40 tonnes and reaching lengths of up to 19 metres, the humpback whale is the sixth largest whale on the planet, ranking behind the say, bowhead, right sperm, fin and blue whales. These marine mammals live in all of the world's oceans and the females are usually larger than the males. Its scientific name is Megatera novianglia. Megatera means big wing, referring to its massive pectoral flippers, and novianglia means New England, referring to the place where these animals were encountered by whalers in the 1700s. Its common name is derived from the large humpback that forms as they arch their back preparing for a dive. Their pectoral flippers can reach up to 5 metres long and are the largest of all baleen whales. These are whales that have keratinaceous plates, also known as whalebone, in their mouths, which sieve their planktonic food source from the water. There are currently 16 species of baleen whales. They undertake long migrations, typically travelling 16,000 kilometres each year from their polar feeding grounds in the summer to tropical or subtropical breeding and birthing grounds in the winter. Humpbacks hold the record for the longest migration within the animal kingdom, with the exception of the subpopulation of humpback whales found in the Arabian Sea. These whales do not migrate to low latitude breeding grounds and high latitude feeding grounds. They permanently live in the Arabian Sea all year round and are genetically different from other humpback whales, thought to have become isolated over 70,000 years ago. The Arabian Sea population of humpback whales is the smallest and most endangered in the world and are listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Like many other large whales, humpbacks have historically been the target of the whaling industry and been hunted to the brink of extinction. By the 1960s, population numbers fell to just 5,000. Thankfully today, numbers have recovered and the species has now reached the status of least concern by the IUCN. However, entanglement in fishing gear, collisions with boats and noise pollution continue to affect the humpback whales. The orca is the main natural predator of the humpback whale. Orcas are highly intelligent, coordinated apex predators and some prey on mammals. Humpback whale calves are frequent victims of killer whale attacks, resulting in a high mortality rate amongst individuals. But adult humpbacks will do anything to protect their calves. Humpback whales, due to their large size and in order to store enough blubber to sustain them during their long migrations, must consume vast quantities of food, eating up to 900 kilograms of food per day when they're in their feeding grounds. They have one of the most diverse diets out of the baleen whale family, eating krill, squid, herring, mackerel, haddock and salmon and other fish. They are filter feeders, heading towards their prey with their mouths open and their baleen bristles act as filters, trapping the prey in the bristles and allowing the water to filter through. Sometimes humpback whales use a cooperative group feeding method called bubble net feeding. This requires highly developed social intelligence with complex synchronized behavior that entails a great deal of communication. Usually, one of the whales will dive deep beneath a bait ball of fish and blow bubbles from their blowholes to stun and trap the fish closer to the surface. Other whales will surround the shoal of fish and follow them to the surface swimming in spiral patterns around them to keep them tightly together. Whales then swim upwards with their mouths open and engulf the fish they have trapped. Due to migration patterns, reproduction is seasonal. Newborn humpback whale calves can weigh up to one ton and measure up to five meters in length. Now that is one big baby. They'll stay by their mother's side for the first year of life, nursing on their mother's milk and grow to be up to eight meters long. Adolescent humpbacks will travel in groups or in pairs. At six years old, a humpback whale reaches sexual maturity and are anywhere between 12 to 15 meters long and the females even larger. They live anywhere between 40 and 60 years. 
The reason humpback whales migrate to give birth is because the calves don't have enough blubber to survive the icy waters of their Arctic or Antarctic feeding grounds. So changes in water temperature initiate migration movements to warmer waters. Baby humpback whales will begin their migration journey still feeding on their mother's milk. A fun fact is that humpback whales, which migrate from the Barents Sea and feed on herring in northern Norway at the start of their long journey to the Caribbean and Cape Verde to breed and give birth, have white flippers. One school of thought is that the white flashes might help to corral the fish into feeding bait balls in the dark waters of the fjords. You may notice that humpback whales have very bumpy knobs on their heads and flippers. This is not a case of bad acne, but rather specialised sensory apparatus called tubercles. They detect changes in water pressure and movement, helping them to hunt more efficiently and navigate their migrations. Humpback whales have a really distinct fluke or tail. The tail pigmentation pattern and shape with serrations on the underside is unique like a human fingerprint. Therefore, it's possible to identify individual whales and scientists can create a passport for each whale recording each time they're seen. Some whales have been tracked for over 20 years and we can gather valuable information such as where do they go, whom do they associate with and do the same individuals return every season. Scientists also record whale song, which is culturally transmitted among humpback whale populations. Only male humpback whales sing, and their songs are an important part of courtship. Humpback whales are also very important carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere throughout their lives, and when they die, they take that carbon to the ocean floor. It is estimated that a humpback whale sequesters 30 tonnes of carbon dioxide on average, taking that carbon out of the atmosphere for centuries. So humpback whales are not only epic in their powerful majesty, but incredibly important for our own future on this planet, helping to mitigate climate change impacts by storing carbon in their bodies and transporting nutrients that benefit ocean food chains. So we must do everything we can to protect them.